Hi, I'm James Schilling Law, and I'm here at the Travel Leaders Network Conference in Nashville. And I'm here with Angela Hughes, who we've worked with before, and you've probably seen her on, on uh, Insider Travel Re Report before. And she is with uh, Trips and Ships Luxury Travel in Orlando, right? Right. What, Winter Garden. Actually. Winter Garden, Florida, yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. So we've talked to Angela before, but we're going to talk to her a little bit about, A, why she is a Travel Leaders agent, how business looks, uh, what the prospects are going forward because everybody's saying this is banner time to be a travel advisor and you're going to hear about all that on more on Insider Travel Report. Angela, first of all, it's great to see you here. Um, you know, I, I had totally forgotten you are a Travel Leaders Network uh, member. Uh, we've talked a lot. Last time we were hanging out in, uh, where we were in uh, uh, Disney somewhere, I think. Yeah, uh, that, was haven't done, that was a couple mm -hmm. years ago during COVID, and we've done some interviews in COVID. Uh, but this is the first time we've actually sat down in person, and we have seen each other in yeah. person. But this is, let's talk first about your uh, travel agency. When did you find found it, and uh, when, how has it grown? Well, and we talked about this a couple of years ago, that that um, I grew up in the travel industry with my parents, so we've always had a small boutique agency, but in January of 2020, um, my parents split off, we reincorporated in Florida, and started a whole brand new brand, so to speak. Um, we had 11 people back then, and then, bam, COVID hit. Yeah. You know, we were almost, down to me just what you know everybody so started from scratch really we really started from scratch although we still had the same basics I mean we had had that agency since 94 95 um, but I spent every day of COVID just like rejuvenating a brand and kind of starting over because same I ought a number but we you know had to start over with all of our vendors and then we had COVID and so it literally was like building a brand new brand and um, now we have probably over 60, 62 advisors. Wow, so since that time, because I remember when talking about you and you were really active up on social media and you were on video and doing all kinds of things. And also you have a side business and sort of training uh, luxury uh, travel advisors a lot. And then how's that business gone? Yeah, so that's the Luxury Travel University and that's been really profitable for me. It's given me just tons of exposure. You know, I've trained um, mega, mega agencies in the United States um, privately and also DMCs around the world. and. You know, even trained on the university level, uh, taught taught during COVID for Brigham Young University, and so, you know, we've developed a lot of like digital courses. Um, I have a brand new course coming out called the Luxury Launch, which is going to be really exciting, and we're really looking to bring on 50 or 100 new advisors that just want to work in the premium and luxury space. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, how long have you been uh, part of the Travel Leaders uh, Network? Okay, well, this is really embarrassing, but we were the 14th agency to join Vacation.com. We're going to back to <laughs> yeah. VCOM days. Okay, yeah. that was it. Yeah. But really, um, and, and I tell this story a lot when I'm on stage speaking, that I was really the black sheep because really up until 2019, we weren't using really any of their services outside of the commission structure, but none of their back office, none of their marketing, marketing materials. I didn't know who anybody was. And we really made a push um, in January of 2020 when I reached out to them and said, what can you do? Should we go here? Should we go to Virtuoso? You know, we were looking at all of our options. And um, yeah, made a really conscious effort and, you know, to move forward with them and m made a clear decision to like stay with them. I mean, there were a lot of choices, especially. Oh, yeah, especially because obviously in the lecture space, there are a lot of, and we were talking about this, that Travel Leaders Network is, is not known as a luxury seller, but they're one of the biggest, if not the biggest luxury sellers around, yeah. uh, just because sheer volume of, of, of agencies that sell high-end travel. Right. And obviously you saw some appeal there. And what are the, the services that you kind of turn to that help you? Yeah, well, I mean, the number one thing is, um, you know, the relationship with Internova, obviously being a part of that. Um, I saw that as a disruptive move as they acquired agencies in 2020. And, you know, I've had several decades in the travel industry, so I've been watching things fall and collapse and rebuild and everything. Um, so looking at that, I thought, hey, this is a really um, kind of a disruptive move, bringing in, you know, all of these different networks from Global Travel Collection to Travel Leaders to Next you know, under one umbrella. And, you know, I, I saw a train that looked pretty fast forward moving yeah. and, and felt I think just disruptive is a good word because I feel like everybody puts Virtuoso as the luxury leader, but mm -hmm. they um, have offered up so many things from their luxury alliance. Right. Yeah, in fact, you did uh, yeah. say that there was a pre-conference here with the luxury yeah. alliance, which are the, the agencies that specifically focus on luxury travel, right? Yeah, so there's 288 agents in that out of all of the Travel Leaders Network. And then also I've attended Internova Plus, which is 
1% of the entire Internova network of luxury advisors. And so I think one thing I like about that is with other consortia, everybody's kind of those things. And this way they're just narrowing down on who they feel are going to make traction in that premium luxury space. And um, it feels a little more intimate, I guess. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's good. And it, again, there are a lot of options there, but this is really a good option for you. Now, yeah. let's let's get to the point. This year, what are your sales looking like? <laughs> it, it's been skyrocketing. Yeah, I look at things. Um, we were heavy in the DMC business pre-COVID. We've really moved a lot into more of like the preferred supplier space with not only the consortia as a partner, um, we reached President Circle with them. And also, you know, we're moving heavy into the cruise market Um that, that's an easy sell. These guys have a great yeah. relationship, a lot of great cruise lines, right? Yeah, and, and my parents were big in the cruise market and they weren't so big on the other side, you know? And so, you know, my past is all over the place, but um, I feel like now we're, we're really targeted and, you know, just the training they're providing and the training I'm providing on the business development side, we're developing some really amazing agents. And so we're busy all the time. I mean, I did $3 million alone myself last year. Uh, I'm almost to two already, and it's only May, and I'm probably going to put the brakes on, you know. Well, on, you know I mean, yeah. 23 is big. 24 is looking great. We were talking about this is the best of times to be a travel yeah. advisor, which is so ironic, yeah. given that you asked her, you three years ago, where were we? And it was yeah. just, you know, uh, me too. I mean, where were we? COVID really had stopped us in its tracks, and we we're lucky we got through that, uh, not, not with a lot of hard work. but yeah. uh, And now here we are with it's the best of times for travel agencies. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm still individually selling, so those are my individual sales, not not the agency, but, you know, collectively everybody's busy, and, you know, right now I think the most important thing is, is moving people in the right direction, you know, really targeting down and finding products that work for them and not being, you know, Travel Leaders has a lot of products. We could be selling a lot of everything, but we're getting more strategic about, you know, what hotel brands we want to work with, so we have alliances with them, and sure. the same with our river cruise business, and, you know, really making a concentrated effort not to be just picking from, you know, everybody, just yeah. a, a few suppliers that work well with us. No, no, that's great, great advice. Now, um, where do you see the future for your travel agency and also your relationship with travel leaders? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely um, on board with the travel leaders um, network for the future. Um, I, I feel like for me, it's a, it's a great fit and it really comes down to relationships. I've had calls from other consortia asking to, you know, Are you interested? You know, yeah, am I interested in looking at it? And and when I put you know things side to side, it really comes down to relationships for me. And I can't think of a better group of people to um, grow my business with. Us, so no, absolutely, and they they do they do a good job. And I go to all the consortia; they do a wonderful job. Everybody, but you have to find your place, the one that yeah. really fits feels right for you. And it sounds like you have with yeah. uh, travel leaders. And I've known them. I've known them since the <laughs> vacation.com days. Uh, you know, it's amazing. And and guys like John Lovell and Roger Block yeah. are great leaders. Um, so, what's the future hold for for you? I mean, what are you, are you going to keep growing your luxury training business? Are you going to keep growing the agency you mentioned you're going to add, add yeah. even more travel advisors right? yeah probably in the next six eight weeks we're coming out with a brand new um, host agency site um, hoping to bring on like i said 50 to 100 new agents that want to sell in the premium and luxury space so we're not looking um, you know for people that don't want to be there you know we're looking for a particular type of agent we've designed a brand new website and it's got a you know gorgeous back office it's definitely going to be connected with you know, everything that Travel Leaders has to offer as well. And yeah, I'm still running the Luxury Travel University. I just spoke at Asta in Budapest. Um, yeah, I was there, I, I saw you. No, that's where we did see each other, that's, <laughs> that's right. right. Yeah, we were thinking it's been 400 years, but it was really- yeah, It was really, it was in Budapest. <laughs> we, we don't know where we are in the world. That's yeah, it was literally just eight weeks ago. Um, yeah, so I still continue to speak um, all over for, you know, different organizations and, you know, teach digital classes and, you know, just try to wake up every day and live. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and you are, I know, and you're all over the place. You're yeah. traveling. You know, I, I say I travel a lot. You travel a lot, uh, but it's great, great news. Now, where can uh, our our viewers? We go out to about 116,000 travel advisors now on our database. Where can they go to to find out more about your agency and also your your luxury training uh, information? Yeah. So um, our programs at the luxurytraveluniversity.com, and then we have our Facebook group with you know, nearly 27,000 people where we'll be posting this video. And um, that's at Luxury Travel Social Media and Marketing on Facebook. And then my agency's Trips and Ships 
um, dot com. But you could just reach out to me and um, haven't quite decided for our host agency. It's going to have a different name. The host agency is not going to have a different name, but the website. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to have a domain um, pointing to it. And so um, we'll let you know on that as soon as we get, we narrow that down. <laughs> well, good luck. I know when we first met uh, a few years back, and uh, you really were such. You're so energetic and so positive about the industry. You got you sort of blew through COVID, uh, <laughs> and and now we're here and we're in a really great space. Yeah. And it sounds like your agency is really doing well and and has a great relationship here as a member of Travel Leaders Network. Uh, we're looking for bigger and better things, and I'm sure we'll talk again. Yeah. Thanks so much. I always love being with you. <laughs> so. I'm James Schellinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.